singled out. Some Wisconsin amputees say the DMV is putting their driver's licenses in jeopardy for no good reason. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows us why public safety had nothing to do with it. Brian? Ben and Stephanie, if you had to take your driver's test again, the one you took when you were 16, do you think you'd pass? Well, thanks to a recent change in state regulations, thousands of Wisconsin amputees could be putting their licenses at risk. For just that reason, doctors have no, even that is, if doctors have no concern about their ability to drive safely. If you think you have a good excuse not to work out, meet Fritz Rudy. I do more now than I ever did before. He's a U.S. Army vet and a father of two who's not afraid to put the pedal to the metal or in his case, metal to the pedal. I've been driving since 2013 without issue. Rudy has put more than 100,000 miles on his Ford Expedition since losing his lower right leg in a motorcycle crash six years ago. We adapt, it's what we do. But when he tried to renew his driver's license last month in Oshkosh, the DMV said he'd have to take a driving test. Yeah, but we don't trust you. Just like the one he took when he was 16. To say I was very upset uh, would be an understatement. Um, it's it's crushing. It's it's demeaning. It's belittling. He's not alone. At DMV offices across the state, amputees are facing a question that could put their freedom at risk. Are you missing a limb? And if so, have you passed a road test with this condition? It was intended to help us bridge a conversation, a very difficult conversation. Corey Kleist is head of the DMV's qualification and issuance section. We're trying to just verify that um, people have adapted to life-changing situations and, and can still safely drive a car. I think it's appropriate to ask questions uh, as long as there's evidence to support it. Sean Fassler lost his lower left leg in a crash 17 years ago, but last month the clerk at the Waukesha DMV said he can't drive a stick shift unless he takes a test. You're fine with having an automatic transmission restriction on your license? No. No? Okay, then you have to go through testing. Then she changed her mind. You determined today that you didn't need to retest. How did you do that? Because he walked up to the counter with no issues. That's Steve Johnson, an advocate for local amputees who encouraged Fassler to carry a hidden camera supplied by Fox 6 News. They don't ask about a cognitive impairment or other things that could be a greater risk. Fassler is with the Amputee Coalition of Wisconsin. So it really begs the question of why are amputees being singled out for these additional steps? when other people aren't being singled out for it. The answer lies more than 2,000 miles away from southeastern Wisconsin, right here in Davis, California. That's where we found Mark Speckman. Stretch out now. An assistant football coach at UC Davis. Come at me, come at me. Who was born. Coming in low. Without hands. You figure out ways to do things. Speckman had a valid driver's license in California for more than 40 years until he briefly moved to Wisconsin in 2015. Everywhere I went, they had a different protocol. Three different DMV offices refused to issue him a license unless he passed a driving test. Oh, I man, I was just, I was hot. So Speckman sued the Wisconsin Department of Transportation for discrimination. Well, that lady looks short. How do you know she can see over her dashboard? Why don't you test her? Six months later, they reached a settlement. The purpose of the presentation is to educate DMV workers about people with physical challenges. The state agreed to pay Speckman $10,000 to record a presentation for DMV customer service agents and to add a new question about missing limbs to its driver's license renewal form. I thought we had slayed the dragon. Three years later, I had no idea there'd be unintended consequences. He's not so sure. Speckman moved back to California in 2017. And last month, Johnson flew there. Hey. Steve, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Good to see you. To meet the man whose lawsuit has become legend in Wisconsin's oh, amputee community. It fit my situation perfectly, but it doesn't fit everybody else's situation. Johnson says the state already had a process for reporting drivers whose medical conditions are cause for concern. A family member reporting is cause, a physician reporting is cause. Now, anyone who's lost a limb is suspect. I've never had an issue. Now, all of a sudden, it's an issue. Even though the DMV admits it has no data suggesting amputee drivers pose a greater risk. There's no data. There is zero data at all. 
this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. We added questions specific to one group of people based on the settlement of the lawsuit. Even before the question was added to the form, Kleist says it was already Department of Transportation policy to retest drivers with missing limbs. If I read it correctly, it actually says may be tested. May be tested? Not will be. It's right there in Trans Rule 112.18. If they may be tested, how do you determine that they should be? Um, that's what the trans rule says? That's May. what the trans rule says. Ignorance. It's, they don't understand anything. It's a culture of bad policy. Speckman just wanted the Wisconsin DMV to show more respect to people with limb loss. Receivers, tight ends! Now he thinks the state just wanted him go, Nate, go. to go away. Be quiet, we fixed your deal. And move on and we'll do, do you our think job. They were blowing you off? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. Remember that $10,000 presentation you paid for? It was supposed to suggest comfortable and respectful ways for DMV customer service agents to serve people with disabilities. But our investigation finds the state does not use the video for employee training. And when we asked for a copy of it, the state said it wasn't even a public record. So if it's not available for the public to see, and it's not being used for training, what was the point of the video? Um, I, I don't know from uh, DOT management's perspective what the point of that was. Here we go. It's absurd. It's really absurd. Speckman left Wisconsin believing he'd scored a victory over discrimination. Out of way, Nico. But now wonders if the question his case created. It's a slap in the face. It's discrimination at its finest is merely being used to perpetuate it. It's very backwards. It's not a good look for Wisconsin. Now just today, Steve Johnson called to tell me that he, Mark Speckman, and the Wisconsin DOT have agreed to modify the question on the driver's license renewal form. Instead of singling out drivers with missing limbs, the DOT will replace that question with one that reads as follows. Do you have physical limitations which interfere with your ability to perform the normal tasks associated with operating a motor vehicle? If you answer no, then nothing else happens. The DOC says this should address the amputee community's concerns while still allowing the state to fulfill its mandate to safeguard the public. Well, Brian, do other states have questions like this on their license renewal forms? Well, there's actually NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, did a federal study in 2016. And as you review that, it looks like nine other states do ask about missing limbs at renewal time, but most others just ask more general health questions, a lot like the one that's now being proposed. In fact, the DOT here says Minnesota has a similar question to the modified version they are now planning to use. And I do want to point out that Steve Johnson told me today he is grateful for the work DOT has done to resolve this so quickly, including the the work of Corey Kleist, who you saw interviewed here, and his boss, Deputy DMV Administrator Patrick Fernand. In the end, results coming already, and, and certainly uh, members of the amputee community happy about that. Yeah, it seems like an issue that just needed a big spotlight on it. And it, it seems to have uh, at least uh, done the trick. Yeah. They're getting there. All right, Brian, All right. thank you for that.